Hey guys, I did a uh, video on the Ola Halligren backup solution, and today I want to go over Index Optimize. So the Index Optimize solution can be downloaded from the same location as uh, the backup solution. So you basically download this maintenance solution.sql, and it'll include the backup and the index maintenance, as well as the uh, database integrity checks. And again, this is a free maintenance solution developed for SQL Server databases. It's very widely used in the SQL Server community. And in my belief, it's superior to ser SQL Server maintenance plans and homegrown solutions. And it's implemented as store procedures and you install it in a utility database. Um, I use something called a, a SSTS admin, which is a database I in install for most of my clients. It has uh, 35 parameters uh, with the most recent version. And you just basically pass these parameters into a store procedure to control the behavior. And it's, it gets updated as SQL Server functionality is released. And really quick, the installation details here. So again, you're going to download the solution from this URL. And I'll have this in the description of the video for you guys. Um, the, the script name is maintenance solution.sql, and it'll contain index optimize along with the other goodies that you might be interested in. Um, most prevalently, the uh, backup solution and the um, database integrity checker. And I would suggest you install it in a, into a utility database. By default, it goes to the master database. But at the top of the script, you'll see a use uh, directive, and you can just change it to whatever database you want to install it into. There's a few parameters or variables you can pass into the install. The, the most uh, relevant ones are the create jobs, output file directory, and log to table as pertaining to index optimize. And the requirements are you must be a member of the sysadmin group to do the installation, and the compatibility level of your database must be greater than or equal to 90, which translates to SQL Server 2005. And if you guys think this is too much, um, just give, ping me. This is what I specialize in. So I can we can do a project and I can get this installed and up and running for you. So here's all the parameters that are available. Again, there's 35 parameters, and these allow you to control the behavior of index optimize. And some of them apply to index maintenance and others apply to statistics maintenance. And the other thing I'll point out here is that you'll see some values that appear, and those are actually the default values. Uh, for the various parameters, if they are available. So the th first thing we need to talk about with respect to index maintenance is these fragmentation medium and fragmentation high parameters. And those are the actions that the procedure takes when it encounters indexes that it considers either at a medium or a high level of fragmentation. And you can control what those levels are, and that's what these levels are being or correspond to. So fragmentation level one corresponds to medium. So basically we're saying any index that is fragmented at 5% or more, we're going to consider medium level of fragmentation. And then these are the actions that will be taken. Index reorganize, index rebuild online, index rebuild offline. So that's an order of precedence of operations that'll be taken for medium levels of fragmentation. And we've got here Fragmentation level two set to 30, that means if it that means the index will be considered at a high level of fragmentation after 30%. And the the actions to be taken are to rebuild online and rebuild offline in that order. Uh, something else I'll just mention is that if you are on standard edition, you don't have the ability to do online index rebuilds, at least in some of the versions. I'm not sure about the latest version of uh, SQL. You can also specify uh, the minimum number of pages in the index that'll be taken uh, for the index maintenance to be carried out. And also you can specify a max. So no obviously means uh, there is no max. Um, but that's in cases like if you've got a very large index and maybe you don't want it running with this particular job, you can put a cap on the number of pages so that the very large indexes will be skipped. Sort in tempdb, you can specify whether or not you want it, uh, the sorts to be done in tempdb. The default is no. I normally set this to yes. Max DOP, that stands for max degree of parallelism. Um, that 
that is telling uh, index maintenance to put a cap if you specify max DOP on the number of threads that would be spawned to run your, your procedure. Fill factor. Uh, fill factor is something that tells SQL Server, hey, leave a little space available in the index for growth. And you can specify a value here if you want. And moving on, we've got some statistics parameters here. So whether or not we want statistics to be updated and whether or not if we do specify that, do we want only modified statistics to be regenerated? And you can also specify a statistic sample. So if you only want to work on 25% of the data for a particular uh, index maintenance or statistics maintenance run, you can specify that percentage here in your sampling. Uh, here's an index, an index maintenance parameter again. So you can specify even down to the granular level of the index name, which ones you want to, to uh, which indexes you want to run on. And then you can set a time limit. So this is something that I've used. You know, let's say you've got a, a maintenance window and you only want to run between certain hours of the day. So let's say your index maintenance starts at midnight and you want to only run for five hours. You can specify that here. This value is actually in seconds. So for an hour, it would be 3,600 seconds. And I'll skip through some of these other ones here. Um, another one I use is log to table. So you, you can specify that all the commands get generated and sent to a table. And it also put the result in there, whether it was successful or not. So it's very useful. Table name is by default command log. And then another one that's useful is execute. So you can tell it to not to, if you say execute equals no, then it actually didn't, won't run the commands. It'll just show you what it would, would have run. So let's take a look at some sample calls. All right. So again, these are just stored procedure calls. So you can, and you can run them in your SQL management studio window in a query, query editor. So you just call execute, uh, assuming you're in the database context where the, the procedures are installed, index optimize, then you pass your parameters. So here we're saying, in this case, this is rebuild or re-index all indexes with fragmentation on all user databases. So this is a special keyword, user databases, it means all, all databases besides the system databases on the server. And it's saying fragmentation low, don't do anything. Fragmentation medium, we're going to index reorganize. We're going to index rebuild online, and then we're going to index rebuild offline in that order, depending on what's available for the particular index we're working on. And then for index high, these are the actions, index rebuild online, index rebuild offline. And we're going to specify that fragmentation level one is 5% and level two is 30%. So that corresponds to the definition of what medium and high mean. Next one here, we've got update statistics on all user databases. So again, we're using the user databases keyword. And this is just saying, don't do anything with respect to index maintenance. So the action for fragmentation, low, medium, and high are all null. And then we're saying update statistics all. So all user databases. Next example here, we've got rebuild or reorganize all indexes with fragmentation on all user databases, but now we're going to use that time limit, time limit command so that no commands are executed after 3,600 seconds or an hour. And then we're going to log operations. So we're passing in databases, user databases, fragmentation low, we're not doing anything. Medium, we're going to say index reorganize, index rebuild online, and re index rebuild offline. And index fragmentation high, re index rebuild online, index rebuild offline. And we're defining our fragmentation levels again for level one is 5% and level two is 30%. And there's our time limit. So 3,600 actually means that the last command will start at 3,600. So let's say that it is 59 minutes uh, since you started the routine, it'll start that next index and it, it might bleed over into, over into more than an hour. Um, so that's something you just need to be aware of. You know, if you, let's say it starts on a very large index at that 59 minute interval, it could take another hour or even hours to finish the actual job. 
And then log to table, yes, just means that everything's going to be logged. That it was run during this run to a table name command log in the same databases where you have the pr procedures installed. And the last example here is we've got rebuild or reorganize all indexes with fragmentation on a specific table the production.product table in the AdventureWorks database. So that's where we're specifying the database, AdventureWorks. And here's our directives for fragmentation, low, medium, and high, and our fragmentation levels. And here's where we're just specifying the index. So the AdventureWorks database, production schema, and product table. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like if you liked the video. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have questions, hey, send them to me. Thanks, guys.